Hey, hello, YouTubers out there. This here is Rob, AK Twilight Collector, coming to you. Uh, I was gonna say live, but it's not live. It's actually outside of uh, my building right now. Today here is uh, Saturday, the seventh of November, and I'm uh, about to start my pop hunt there. I hopefully might be able to do some filming inside the store. I was able to do a little bit of filming inside the store um, last week there, secretly. I really need to contact these stores here to see if I can do a bit of filming in exchange for promoting them for more where I get my items from. Maybe they'll let me do it. Anyways, so uh, we're also going to see about Maria getting her hair done over today. She don't want to appear on camera right now with her old do. So maybe she'll appear with me on camera today. So by the time you see this video, it, it'll be tomorrow. There. So maybe you see her tomorrow on camera with a new do. Anyways, stay tuned. Well, hey YouTuber, Twan Collector back with you here again. Uh, sorry I wasn't able to film inside uh, Hot Topic today like it was uh, it did last Sunday. But uh, wasn't a whole lot in there and I wouldn't really want to anyways. And uh, but I was able to pick up uh, a couple of things. One for myself, one for Maria there who occurred right now was getting her hair done. I shared the wealth and I also went to EB Games which, if you may remember, is our version of here of uh, GameStop here in Canada. So, I was able to pick up a couple of things there. I think I'm going to be going back to Hot Topic there and uh, maybe getting a few more uh, Mission Minis that I unveiled last Sunday. They still have some in that store there, so I may go back in there. And who knows, maybe I might be able to do a bit of filming in there. You know, because I know how much you all like to see toy hunts there. Things are a lot different here in Toronto than they are elsewhere here because... Quite frankly, in all honesty, our 19 numbers are high right now. So, customers are really being watched when they go inside the stores. That's a problem. So, anyway, stay tuned. I have an update with this uh, for you shortly. Well, yeah, hello all you YouTubers out there. This is Rob, aka Toronto Collector. And I'm joined in the studio there today by my beautiful girlfriend. Hello. Maria. Mm -hmm. And she is sporting her brand new hairdo, which she got just yesterday there. So, what do you think, everyone? Brand new hairdo. Brand new color. Brand new color, yep. And uh, this is uh, what we did yesterday. If you see saw the beginning of this video, uh, then you will have seen already that um, we went out yesterday to, to do a toy hunt there. And I'm not one to sit around while Maria gets her hair done there, so I did a toy hunt. Uh, while she was getting her hair done. Uh, I couldn't film in the stores because here in Toronto our 19 numbers here are still pretty high So they're watching us very carefully in the stores So I couldn't do a filming in the stores yet, but I am going to be working on an idea I have to maybe Get maybe some sponsorship there from from the stores I do shop in and maybe through that way they might uh, be able to uh, give me the go-ahead and you okay to maybe film in the source to give them some promotion. Mm -hmm. And in exchange, um, I tell my uh, subscribers uh, where I shop. And for those of you here in Toronto or Southern Ontario, maybe you want to go to uh, your own closest store of this, these, these chains and check it out. So anyways, last week um, we uh, had uh, had an exciting video. Unfortunately, Mary was with, with me on camera last week, but she's off camera. Because I developed and asthma and I couldn't breathe very well, so I yep. didn't want to be on camera and wheezing mm -hmm. and having to get my him to get my puffer and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Isn't it ironic that I, I'm the one who indulges in a bad habit and she gets the asthma? It's not an ironic twist of fate. Well, I've been around smokers all my life. Mm hmm. It's unfortunate there. Yeah. So, um, so that's why she has to admit she, so she's been dealing with that and also dealing with high blood pressure as well there. So, hopefully she'll be getting better there soon there. So if you want to wish Maria well and hopefully she gets better soon there, please drop a comment down below there and I will make sure that she sees it. So, uh, there's a few things here that uh, we have, we haven't unveiled because Maria hasn't been here there. So to start off this video, and don't forget, I remember what I said last Sunday here, which was to unveil the rest of my 
Bloodline Workers, which is coming up very shortly there, so stay tuned for that. First of all, before we get to unveiling here, I want to give a big, nice big shout out there and much love to all of my subscribers there. Thank you all very much for continuing to be here and co your continuing support. I do read the comments, so please continue to comment down below, you know, uh, we can interact that way. Um, and I forgot to give the day stamp for today. Today's day, <laughs> today's day stamp here is Sunday, November 8th. 2020. That's what today's day stop is. So, without further ado, here let's get into some fun stuff here, some fun unveiling. And here, and uh, this this here is a pop here that I got for myself. I showed, I unveiled. I think it was last Sunday, but this is Maria's pop here. So I will just simply cut open for her here with my trusty box cutter knife. And there you go, Maria. You can open and unveil here. This is gonna be for her collection. It's a pop in a box here. So sometimes those boxes are a little bit tricky to open. If any of you order from Pop Box, you know what I'm talking about. You're, you're getting it. You're getting it. God. Yep, you're getting it. Just be careful it doesn't, pop, doesn't fall out on you. Yep. There you go. It's... Of course. It's... Yeah, here, uh, easy, easy way to do it, doing it upside down. Okay, you do, it, you do it your style. This is my... Uh, structure Mickey. Mm-hmm. I like Mickey Mouse too, but I also like Minnie Mouse mm -hmm. because they're a couple, and I always want them to be together. Mhm. Mm I am a Mickey Mouse fan. I don't care for. I don't feel necessary to get Minnie just because, as Maria says, they're a couple. I only collect Mickey's, and she likes to collect both of them. I only collect the Mickey myself. There, so I got bought two of them there. I unveiled mine last video, so I, I wanted to unveil this one for Maria on camera for your entertainment and for her pleasure. Did so, you know there's a lot of Mickey Mouse's? Oh yeah, almost almost as much as there are, there are a lot of Star Wars and anime out there. There are millions of them. So if he, in case you didn't see up the up close one here, this is. Oh, I just realized this has got a bad ding in the back. Oh, I didn't okay. realize it, but there is. This is a big rabbit hole right there, and this is apparently is to celebrate 50 years. But I think Mickey is Mickey Mouse is definitely older than 50 there. Although, <laughs> like I said when I unveiled my sorcerer. If he's only 50, he's a damn good looking 50 year old. <laughs> I wish I looked that good at 50. I don't want, I don't look, I don't look that good now. I don't look that good at 40. So, oh, you, you're younger than me. She's, she's way younger than me, folks. She's nine years younger than me. So, <laughs> I go for the young, for, for the younger girls. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that, that's not, that's a whole, that's a whole other video right there. <laughs> anyway, here, that's Mickey right there. So now I want to, Maria to unveil here the, the two items here I got for her at EB Games. Uh, no plug right there. <laughs> right here. They're very unique items here. And I will show you, uh, as Maria looks at one of them, I'll show you one of them here, up close and personal here. Uh, these are unique items we, that we found. Which one do you want to open first? Left or right? No, don't, just, just, just. The camera please, one. The camera one. So I'll, I'll just take it for now. I'll hold it for a second. I'll, so I'll explain to the camera. I found these very unique mini backpacks at EB Games here. EB Games is our version of GameStop, and I thought these would be great for Maria because Maria does use backpacks there. So Maria's got one similar to this one here, but with a camel design there. So by all means, Maria, go right ahead. They say they have something inside them. Obviously, the tape closed. Mm -hmm. I think they're really cute. I think they're extremely cute. Okay. Tape dispenser. A teeny tiny tape dispenser, which w w w apparently what looks like has glitter tape mm -hmm. on on the roll in there. I don't know if you can actually use it or not, but apparently it's glitter tape. On a neon green teeny tiny tape dispenser. Okay. And a highlighter. Highlighter. Teeny tiny little highlighter. And this is oh a little book. Little tiny binder, which I guess actual paper. This is actually like, okay, she, uh, yeah, blank paper inside of there. Blank paper in there. And this is obviously, is, is this a list of what you can get in there? Mm hmm. So, oh, I, don't have my reading, I don't have my reading glasses on there, but there is, I guess, a list of what you can get in there. And they're called micro packs from EB Games. Mm -hmm. And probably from GameStop there, too. Okay, and. What would you call this? It's a pen. 
Oh, a pen. Multicolored, fancy pen that I guess, oh, well, maybe different, looks like it had maybe just, yeah, two different points on it. There, one point right there, if you get the point. Another point right there, get the point. So you can get a point twice. Okay. And this one here is, oh, a little ruler. A little ruler. Ah, uh, this is like Napoleon, a little ruler. <laughs> No funny. offense to anybody who fa who uh, was a fan of Napoleon there, but a little joke right there. A little joke to match about a little ruler. Yeah, a little ruler. To That's measure it. a few things, like maybe like to my nose. No, oh, wait a minute. And I'm not going anywhere else with that. One more little thing. One more little thing. Unless you're not referring to me there. And a little... Eraser. No, it's not gum. <laughs> Although you, tempt you may be tempted to go, ah, but no, it's not gum. I don't think it's gum anyways, I mean, it's not... No, it's an eraser. It's not a packet. It's not, uh, doesn't smell like gum. There's a little eraser. Okay. So, so you want to put everything back in there now? Great. Put it back in there now. So we'll pause the camera while she puts all that back in. And to the magic of the pause button there. That's, so there it is, the camel-colored backpack that Marie just opened there. And it really is like a little backpack here, because it even has straps. that you have in a backpack there? It also has a clip right there the clip it to a real backpack or your belt or whatever else and it's really really cute what so, the highlighter you can use oh she kept the, she kept the booklet out for it there so next is will be the metallic purple one purple one which is actually Marie's favorite color so if you're ready to open that one now so I was saving these ladies and gentlemen boys because I was saving these uh, for me to open on camera so we've had these now for a couple weeks because Maria has been away, if you may remember from, if you watched my previous videos, that Maria has been off sick, as we've all explained. So I'll put that away for her, put that back in her. You need to be going to Maria's collection there, because she likes collecting minis and that kind of thing. Now, I really, I'm not really into minis that much. So. Okay, well, right back, I'll help her open it. And again, it's the power of the pause button here. I, cu I cut the tape off there for her there, so now she can open that one there. So this is the purple glitter backpack. I think these are still available from EB Game, probably GameStop in the U.S. Let's see what I got in here. Let's see what you got. Let's take a look. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Okay. Nut tape dispenser. And eraser. An eraser in the form... Uh, but cat the other one was from a gum. This was like from, from a cactus right here. A very friendly cactus, so it's waving. It's, <laughs> it's waving. It's got a little head out of the gate. Hi! I think that's chalk. Okay, could be chalk. Package of six different colors and, and like little cylinders, like could be chalk. Yeah. Another, another book. Well, again, it's lines, no lines. No lines, no lines, a little, tiny little book, and stickers. Oh, everybody's favorite, little stickers, little stickers. Maybe, the, oh, you wouldn't mind putting these little stickers on, on the backpack there, because you would, I don't think you'd want to, you know, damage the backpack there, but stickers somewhere, okay. And another little folder. Oh, a little f file folder. A little file folder here with ice cream desserts on like like um, cupcakes on the front here and it opens to unveil a little folder which I, which I guess you can put the pages of your book into your little folder right here I guess mm. because that's how it's designed okay give me that okay so while you put the back in we'll pause the camera again and welcome back here so all of us back in the backpack here so as I did with the camel color this here is the back of the metallic purple one there with actual straps which I don't know what you can put, put on there, an actual clip, which you can actually put onto a real backpack or a belt loop or whatever else. It's cute there. Uh, did you open the zipper, this, this one in the front here? Yeah, it's just got the... Packing? Packing, Okay, so, so there's a little zipper in the front here, just help fill packing paper right there. You might be able to put something else, maybe put some change in there or something that you want, or for parking meter, or for uh, rent a buggy, or whatever, a shopping cart, whatever. Because I'm sorry, but you, you go use a shopping cart for their store, you gotta rent it. And then return it, get your, get your change back. Well, at least we do that here. Mm -hmm. So anyways, here, there is the metallic one there, so I'll put that back in her box here quickly. So I'll pause the camera again. So there are the two micro packs 
that I got for her at EB Games right there. Very cute. I might be able to buy some of them. So if you like those micro back backpacks and you'd like to see more of them, and maybe you don't have them in the U.S. or wherever you are, please do comment down below, and I will look into getting them there for next Sunday's video. Now, for those of you who last, last saw last Sunday's video, there I saw my special tribute there to the frontline workers, and I said I wouldn't fill the rest of the set today. It's coming up right now. So sit back, you know, grab your coffee, maybe, maybe by Tim's or by maybe by Folgers. No, no sponsorship there. I wish. And uh, here is a single frontline worker here, which came in now. I've had for a while. Actually, this one one been missing here. So I will now unveil it here. My box card knife here. I'll be very carefully cutting it away from me, which is what you do. How you safely use a knife. And it's not a mystery box, so I don't know a little bit mystery box style, but here is the, that is the, I believe this is the female, one of the female frontline workers there, because her eyelash is there, the eyelash is there, indicates that she's probably female. Doesn't really say on the thing whether it's male or female there, but anyways there. Last Sunday when I did that, the boxes collapsed, so hopefully it won't happen today. So here is another one here, no number, just it's the, male. yeah, I believe it's a male. Not sure if this is a doctor or a nurse, but they're in scrubs, a male. On that worker right there again, SE edition, I guess special edition, special edition section of the from, from Funko right there. And there is the two of them so far right there. And then the last two came in together because I didn't know if I was gonna buy all four of these. I was gonna get all four, or just gonna get two for my, females for, my, for Maria and two males for me. I didn't know, so that's why I ordered those two singles and the order had to order uh, the last two uh, together. So I came in a box like this. So I will. I like to cut. I like to cut it on camera if if I can possibly do it. If I can, I can't always do it though. So again, I know what it is. So there's no mystery here. So here we go. And you can see from top of the box, I just cut it open there. You can see what do you what do you not see there? Packing. No packing. No packing whatsoever. So. For those of you who are concerned about popping the box, please keep that in mind that they seldom use packing. So, here are two more frontline workers right here. It's a doctor. Well, how do we know? No, uh, different color scrubs. Different color scrubs, yes, but we're not wearing a stethoscope there because the first one here, I think, uh, has a stethoscope. So that might be a doctor. Might be a nurse because usually, uh, well, nurses can have stethoscopes. The doctors, nurses can have stethoscopes there, so no idea. I mean, this, this one right here. It's in green, green scrubs. This one right here, which is just in the box here, is in blue scrubs. Hmm. Or do you call them purple? I call them purple. I call them purple, okay, with, with, with their name tag there. So there's another one right there. And the last one, which is probably another doctor. Because usually doctors have the um, the white jackets, I believe. Yes. You know? So there's another, probably another doctor right there, a female. So looks that like. Female? Looks like, well, I'm not sure. Because again, mm -hmm. looks like eyelashes. That's what told me that, the eyelashes. Mm. So again, this looks like there's a female who, so it looks like they made the two females the doctors and the two males the nurses there, which is perfectly fine and dandy, perfectly fine. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as I promised last Sunday, here are the four frontline workers here, which I think look totally awesome. This is the complete set of them. Mm. And um, another way to look at them is like this. <laughs> So, I think they look totally awesome right there. My, one set for me, and I'll be getting another set for Maria right there. So, or we'll, 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 we'll share this. I'll get two, the two males. You get two, two females. I'll buy another set there, and we'll do it that way. So, if you'd like to see me unveil, or actually take, take any of these out of the box, please do comment down below and let us know. And let, and let me know. Make this video interactive. Let me know what you would like me to take out of, the, out of one of these boxes for next Sunday's video. Please let me know which male or female which one you like to see me take out of the box and display it in my hand. Let me know for next Sunday's video and probably by then we will have the other, other ones in. So now moving right along here now to our store bots here. Here's a big package here from this particular store right here which has no name <laughs> and no sponsorship either. And as well uh, last Sunday, what I did was I had I, I reversed it right there, so that I could um, use use another store here that we also shop at, and use them to promote the, their store here. But this Sunday, 
I, I decided to do it the other way. So here, as I'm as I'm unveiling some of these ones here for you here, just unveiling the um, one second. I'll, let me get organized here. And thank you, uh, thank you for your patience here. So I've got a little more organized here. So I went to the HC store there, and I, I saw you. I if you saw last week's video, I did unveil a special breast cancer awareness pop there. This now Marie's collection there. So here, Maria, here. This is part number two there for you for you for you from that collection right there. This here is number three fifty. Three fifty. And it's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. So for the same. Breast cancer awareness line right here. You can tell it's breast cancer awareness because of the indication on the back right there. And she's in pink. And she's in pink there. This is my very first Wonder Woman pop because I'm not really into Wonder Woman that much. I mean, I, I, I respect the character and everything, but Funko made a whole line of this before the movie is even released. <laughs> I bought this one there because it's to do with breast cancer awareness, which is a horrible disease, and we hope one day they solve it. Because we have a distant family, family relative here who died of breast cancer. Just a family relative of, Mar of Maria's that uh, died of breast cancer. So we hope we find a, a cure this horrible disease. Mm. So there you go there for your collection right there. I bought one here that I was told by HT yesterday that's brand new, newly out there. So I don't know if it is. So please comment down below. Let me know if it is or not. Come in here at number 1044. It is Michael Scott from The Office in a straight jacket. <laughs> For all you Office fans out there, you can let me know if this is if you've seen this before or not. This is my very first Office pop, and the reason why I got it is because I uh, we've seen the we see the episodes of the Office there, not bad, but I would we, I don't think it become a regular thing there. But I love the actor Steve Carell who plays Michael Scott. I like I respect respect him as an actor. So I was told this one is brand new. So there is a two um hot topic right there. Oops, I said the name. We got right there. I want to show you now uh, shifting stores. I want to show you now this this unique one that, that, that I have not seen anybody unveil, especially Star Wars fans, which I'm surprised I haven't seen them unveil yet. Coming in number uh, number three seventy by the other store. Coming in number three seventy here is the child with a control knob. Mm. I have not seen anybody unveil this one yet. It came in. It, I bought this at the other store, uh, the other Canadian store that I shop at, uh, and the American version is GameStop. So, and it, it says a special edition right there, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. But I think this is really cool. This is my now my third one. The only one of the child I don't have yet right now is I don't have the one of him eating the frog. If you want like that, and you want you want to sell, you've got an extra one, you want to sell to me for a cheap oh, price gosh. there, please do contact me on IG and let me know. Now, the another one here that I did here, I got these two to finish off one of my collections here. I bought these two for a really cheap price, <laughs> amazingly enough. Coming in here at number 812 and 813, it is Pugsley and Uncle Fester from the Adam Family, the TV show. Not the movie, the TV show. Mm. And and our our viewers was having this on sale for a dollar each, and he even survived the staffer when she rang it up. Dollar each. You oh, right back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, the video now is twenty one minutes now. Probably at, when I added the mm. edit the other the other hot hunts there, maybe a little longer there. So I wanted to give Marie here one more pop. I'll show you one more thing there. Back to the HT store right here. I wanted to show Marie what I bought for her right there. Coming in here at number. Amazingly oh, enough, oh, my 15, pony. it is... Oh, my Little Pony. Her Little Pony. Cute. Now, at number 15. Yeah, and there's a... I, I, I saw it there at the AC store yesterday there, and I immediately thought of Maria right there. <laughs> and I got for myself, uh, a, which is unusual here, uh, a Funko one. This is Funko... Spicy Oodles, which I've never seen before, a HT exclusive right there. I've never seen this before in my life. There. I thought it looked really cool, and I buy what I think I well, I buy what I like. I buy what I think is cool there. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to keep the rest may, of them. So may I show the, the camera this this one here? So there you go, right there. I've never seen this before, and I know that Maria loves My Little Pony along with other things right there. So I, as soon as I saw this, I immediately thought of her there. So there's the last two there from HT. So, 
if you've enjoyed watching this video with them, and we sincerely hope you have, please do give us a thumbs up down below. If you have not yet subscribed there, and we, you want to subscribe right now and see more of our exciting, fun content down below and to our right there, please do hit the subscribe button there. Feel free to give us a thumbs up. Feel free to give us a comment down below there. And while you're here on my channel here, please do check out our other fun videos here. We, I've been on YouTube now for over a year, so I have plenty of other videos there. So, any closing, Mary, any last words? No. Nope. Are you, are you glad to be here? Have, have you, did you enjoy yourself? Have a good time? Yeah. So did I. So I'm, so. I'm glad that Maria back joined me there. So this is Maria uh, saying life for them. For me, this is Rob, aka Tomorrow Say thank you all very much for being here. Everybody, please do stay safe out there. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.